Dr. DeWine's false positive test has lit social media on fire with claims of inaccurate positive case counts and people wondering why there's so much testing if results aren't accurate. His positive test result is not part of the total number of new cases that was reported today. Local 12's Christian Hauser explains the different types of testing and how they work. Since the pandemic began, the push has been to do as much testing as possible. And with more of those tests came more positive results. I talked with Tiffany Manningly from the Health Collaborative to get some answers on the accuracy of these tests and more about what happened to the governor. If somebody receives a positive test um, with an antigen testing, uh, that test doesn't count. But if the positive test, the test returns positive from the PCR test, then that is reportable to the state. So you won't see double reporting. Mattingly says the initial test Governor DeWine took was an antigen test. She says that's more of a screening than a diagnostic tool. You're going to see more negatives. So it, it will, con it's fairly confirmatory for a negative, but you'll receive more false positives with an antigen test. While DeWine had an initial false positive, it doesn't always work that way. So if somebody has symptoms, they get an antigen test and the test comes up negative, they'll still send that person for a confirmatory PCR test, which may come up positive. So you could see the exact opposite of what happened with Governor DeWine. Mattingly says recent data she looked at shows maybe five false positives out of 100 antigen tests and one false negative. Keep in mind that that's only one machine for those specific tests, so it does not mean the same accuracy rate for other tests. The most common test, though, the PCR nose swab, when administered correctly, is nearly 100% accurate. In Mount Auburn, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. But Christian, thank you. Once again, Governor DeWine's false positive test result was not counted among those new cases reported today. Now, that came from an antigen test, and antigen tests are not reported in the daily testing numbers.